Hey advisory, this is Miss Corey. Um, so I'm making this video because you were not able to come to advisory today, um, but Mrs. Helly, who is your counselor for online ISD 728, stopped by and was talking about some of the things that she wants um, to see or to have from you as seniors. So I'm gonna discuss a few things. Um, it's probably not gonna be as good as what Mrs. Helly said, but I will try my best to get the messages across that she said today during advisory. All right, so the first thing, 255, that is the amount of school days left. So senior year, one of the big things you have to look out for is graduation requirements. Um, there's another thing that she wants too, it's a senior check-in. Um, that is where you are gonna meet one-on-one -on -one with Mrs. Helly on like a Google Meet. And you're just gonna talk about how senior year is going, making sure you have all your credits and also talking about what you're gonna do after you graduate from high school. Um, so what you need to do is you need to email Mrs. Helly. Um, I can send out the link to her email address. Um, her full name is Jamie Helly. And you need to email her and be like, hey, Mrs. Helly, I'm a senior, can we set up a senior check-in meeting and you must do it within the month of October. So the sooner you email her, uh, the better her schedule is going to be. Uh, so make sure that you email her right away. Um, also, it's College Knowledge Month. Um, and then she also talked about how to reach her as well. So the graduation requirements. Um, as you probably have heard maybe a thousand times by now. Um, so for graduation requirements, you need eight credits of English. Um, so that's a full year of English, all four years of high school. You need seven credits of social studies. Um, so that's, well, almost every semester of high school. Uh, you need six credits of mathematics. You must pass algebra two. Uh, you need six credits of science, two credits of arts, one credit of health, one credit of physical education, 12 elective credits, uh, making that a total of 43 credits. Now, if you have questions about that, you are more than welcome to ask me or Mrs. Gosha, um, but I really, really recommend that you ask Mrs. Helly because she's kind of the expert on it, but we're here to help too. Okay, so what is the senior check-in? So again, um, you need to email Mrs. Helly to set up an appointment. So after you're done with this Ed Puzzle, go right in and email Mrs. Helly to set up a Google Meets. Um, so for the senior check-in is just kind of like current credit status, making sure that you know, you're know you on top of your credits, you're gonna graduate on time. Um, you're gonna talk about the post high school plan. Um, you think of college, like technical or community or four year, do you wanna play a sport? Are you going to go military? Um, are you just going to go right into the job force? Uh, she has lots and lots of resources for you. Um, and if you don't know either, that's okay. She's there to help you out. Um, also talk about if the ACT is necessary. Usually the ACT is if you want to get into a four-year college. Um, also how to do a transcript request. Uh, that's really important if you are looking at going to a college. Um, Maybe the military too, I'm not quite sure about that. Um, and then of course, scholarships. And this could be anything with college or if you wanna do like an internship. Um, she has a lot of resources about scholarships. So you need to email Mrs. Helly. Here is her email address right here. Take a picture of it or write it down or something because you need to email her, okay? To set up a meeting for a senior meeting. Um, I feel like you got that already. I feel like I, t I feel like I told you enough about that. Okay, so the other thing is College Knowledge Month. Um, so the goal of College Knowledge Month is to provide every graduating high school senior with the preparation, opportunity, and support needed to apply to college. So even if you're like, I'm not quite sure if I want to go to college, um, you can still apply, and then you can make up your mind later. Uh, so this month long effort each October allows students to do more than just submit a college effort click application. Um, so within this time frame, students can participate in the college exploration and planning process at their own pace, and schools can align this initiative 
with the many college exploration activities that are already taking place during the fall. And many post-secondary institutions waive application fees during College Knowledge Month, which is really, really helpful. So even if you had the slightest thought that you wanna to go to college, um, applying during College Knowledge Month, which is October, um, can be really helpful because they do waive those application fees, which is fabulous. Um, or else, oh, I don't even know how much it is anymore. When I applied for college, they were like $60 per college. Um, so I bet they're even more money now. Uh, she also has, let's see if this pops up for me. Um, there's also a link to the website. Um, so like Mrs. Helley said, this website's kind of blonde boring, um, but it gives a lot of great information about going to college. So if you're even slightly thinking about it, go check out this website. Um, I will link this slideshow to the Schoology advisory page. Okay, let's keep on going. All right, so, um, yep, so some other tools, Minnesota Goes to College. Um, there's, again, many resources, including high school planning checklist. Um, there's free application opportunities. Um, there's the MCIS, uh, which is the Minnesota Set Career Information System. Um, and that can really find out like what careers, what colleges are available out there. There's also FAFSA, um, which stands for the Free Application for Federal Student Aid. Um, before each year in college, this is helpful to apply for federal grants, work studies, and loans in FAFSA. Um, you can also help with like colleges using FAFSA data to determine federal aid eligibility. Um, so that's important because as you probably know, college is incredibly expensive, even for like state colleges. Um, and you have to complete that like as soon as possible on or after October 1st. Um, but if you have questions about FAFSA, uh, reach out to Mrs. Helly. Uh, she'll totally help you. Um, I mean, you can ask Mrs. Gosha and I. <laughs> I'll be honest, FAFSA was not my gig. <laughs> um, all right, so how to reach Mrs. Helly um, for anything in academics, mental health, or post-secondary planning. Um, please, please, please feel free to reach out to her at any time. This is her email address. Um, again, Mrs. Gosha and I are also here for you, um, but Mrs. Helly is definitely an expert when it comes to this kind of stuff. All right, if you have any questions, let Mrs. Helly or let I or Mrs. Gosha know, and we'll be happy to help you out. All right, have an awesome week, y'all.